Mechanical bolts are fastening devices used to join two or more parts together. They typically consist of a threaded shaft, a head, and a nut. The head of the bolt is usually designed to be gripped by a wrench or pliers, while the threaded shaft is designed to be screwed into a marching internally threaded hole in the second part. The nut is used to apply clamping force to the joint, drawing the parts together and holding them securely in place. Mechanical bolts are commonly used in construction, manufacturing, and engineering applications due to their versatility, strength, and ease of use. The design of mechanical bolts typically consists of several key elements. Threaded shaft The threaded shaft is the portion of the bolt that is designed to be screwed into a mating part. The thread pitch and diameter must match the internal thread of the mating part. Head The head of the bolt is usually designed to be gripped by a wrench or pliers. Common head styles include hexagonal, square, and round. Nut The nut is used to apply clamping force to the joint, drawing the parts together and holding them securely in place. Nuts are typically made from the same material as the bolt and are threaded to match the bolt's thread pitch. Material The material used for the bolt is selected based on the strength and corrosion resistance requirements of the application. Common materials include steel, stainless steel, and aluminum. Surface finish The surface finish of the bolt can impact its performance and durability. Common surface finishes include zinc plating, black oxide, and anodizing. Grade or strength the strength of the bolt is defined by its grade or tensile strength. The most common grades of bolts are grade 2, grade 5, and grade 8. The design of mechanical bolts must also consider safety factors such as tensile strength, shear strength, and fatigue life, to ensure that the bolt can withstand the forces applied to it in service. There are several formulas used in the design and analysis of mechanical bolts. Some of the most common include Tensile strength formula The tensile strength of a bolt can be calculated as the maximum load the bolt can withstand before breaking. The formula is P equals pi slash 4 D squared Ultimate tensile strength Minimum tensile area Shear strength formula The shear strength of a bolt can be calculated as the maximum load the bolt can withstand before breaking in shear. The formula is P equals pi slash 32 d cubed ultimate shear strength minimum shear area fatigue strength formula the fatigue strength of a bolt can be calculated as the maximum load the bolt can withstand before breaking under repeated loading the formula is p equals pi slash 2 d squared fatigue strength minimum fatigue area clamping force formula the clamping force of a bolt can be calculated as the force applied to the joint by the bolt and nut. The formula is F equals pi slash 4 D squared preload force minimum thread engagement. These formulas are used to design and analyze bolts and can help to ensure that the bolts used in a specific application are able to meet the required strength and performance criteria. However, it's important to note that these formulas are only approximate and the actual strength of a bolt can be affected by many factors, such as the material, surface finish, and manufacturing process. Preloading of bolts refers to the process of applying a predetermined tension or compression force to a bolted joint before it is put into service. This preloading force compresses the joint and reduces the gap between the parts being joined. The main benefits of preloading bolts are Improved joint rigidity, preloading a bolt increases the joint stiffness and reduces deflection, which can help to improve the accuracy and stability of the joint. Reduced loosening, preloading a bolt helps to counteract the effects of vibration and thermal expansion, which can cause bolts to loosen over time. By preloading the bolts, the joint is less likely to loosen and become unsafe. Increased fatigue life. Preloading a bolt can increase its fatigue life by reducing the stress cycles it experiences during service. This can help to improve the reliability and longevity of the joint. To preload a bolt, the bolt and nut are tightened to a specific torque or tension, and the bolt is then stretched a certain amount. 
The preload is typically measured using a torque wrench or a load cell. The preloading process is an important step in the design and assembly of bolted joints and can help to ensure the joint is safe and performs as intended.